So we're just going to look at doing an install of Live Optics. Um, we're going to start from the point of assuming that you've received your personalized Live Optics executable, which will be emailed through to you from your Dell representative or from the partner that you choose to engage with. Uh, once you've got that file downloaded, extracted it, it's a simple matter of running the application. Clicking on get started. Uh, agreeing to the license agreement. And also your account information. Also agreeing to whether or not you want the software to check and see if it has the latest version or if you just intend to manually take care of that over time. For the most part, the version that you've downloaded will be the latest version if you've just got the email. And uh, typically, we run this for a relatively short amount of time. So the next time you run it could be months later and chances are you'll just get a new link sent out to you. But either approach you get a take is fine. You can either accept this software update or, or choose to turn it off and carry on. Now we're going to start with what we call Optical Prime. Uh, this is the Live Optics collector that collects all the data around CPU utilization within your VMware cluster. So we're going to set this up to point at your vCenter instance within your cluster. And as I said, it will grab CPU information, memory information across the environment, storage utilization, IOPS, read write ratios. So we'll just continue on with the Optical Prime install. Um, the preferred approach, and if you're not on a dark site, then just stick with establish the connection. So what this does is uploads the information about the environment from a statistics point of view up to the Live Optics website so that reports can be generated up on that website. And you as the customer should have access to that as well once this is run your Dell rep or partner will be able to give you access to that or produce a report for you if that's your preferred approach now this is where we connect to the devices that you want to scan so in a VMware environment that's really simple we just connect to vCenter so we're just going to add a remote server so click up here We'll be connecting to a VMware vCenter server. And here we just need to enter the URL for that server. So for my test environment, I've actually got it open up here. You can see the IP address, which just disappeared there, of 10.42.0.50. So that's what I'll be entering down here. It's now asking for the credentials to connect to that. So at this point, it's now asking, what do we want to scan? So in my environment, I've got the cluster and I'm also running vSAN as well. So I'm just going to scan the entire environment. So at this point, it's come back. It's showing us what it's going to be gathering information against. Uh, I guess the important thing to check here is really just at a high level, make sure that the number of servers and disks or storage that you've got there looks accurate in your environment. And if that looks OK, uh, you can set the duration to whatever you think is appropriate. Uh, for my demo now, I'm just going to set that to four hours. And we're going to go start capture. And that's it. That's as simple as it is to get live optics up and going and for that information to be captured and for you to be able to share the high level information around your environment and what's going on with Dell or your partner so that we can help you do sizing work and work out what you might need in your environment to add more value. I hope it's been helpful. And assuming that your live access
credentials have been given to you. You can also click on this link here to pop through to the Live Optics web portal and actually start to see the information that's being gathered as well. So I've got that up and running here already. We can see that this collector is running, is at 1%. Um, th but this gives you an overview of the sort of information that's being collected, CPU information, that total storage capacity, memory, average daily writes, IOPS across the environment, and network throughput. And we give you this, this high level, this is sort of the executive summary page. Once this collector's finished running, we'll, uh, we'll come back and we'll have a look at some of the details that you can actually drill into once a live optics collector run has finished.